Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Risk and Returns, we have completed first three methods and entered into the measures of risk in the last class only. In the last class we have covered range, today we will see standard deviation. Standard deviation same, in statistics we have used standard deviation, same standard deviation we are going to calculate. Standard deviation means always we take the deviations from the arithmetic mean or average. From there we take the deviations and using the formula. Did you remember individual series, discrete series, continuous series? Yes. Same formula, same we are going to calculate. This is most of the people they use this standard deviation for a calculation of risk. What is this standard deviation? How do we calculate? Let's see. Standard deviation formula, did you remember rho? Rho is equal to root of sigma d square by n. This is for individual series. In this risk and returns chapter, we are learning only the individual series. If it was a discrete series, f d square. Continuous series also f d square. Rather than sigma d square, sigma f d square we use to write the formula for discrete and continuous. Now we have only individual series, so we have taken rho is equal to root of sigma d square by n. This is the formula. And if you see, it is the most commonly used. Standard deviation is most commonly used to measure the risk. It is the deviation of returns from its mean. We take the deviation from its mean. So whatever we get, according to that we can measure the risk. Through a problem we will understand. The problem is given the rate of return of equity shares of Wipro Limited for the past 6 years are given below. Calculate average rate of return means arithmetic mean. Average rate of return, arithmetic mean, standard deviation and variance. Standard deviation formula we know. What is the formula for variance? Variance is equal to standard deviation square. Did you remember? Variance formula is? Variance from life standard deviation square. Once if you get standard deviation, standard deviation into standard deviation, we get the variance simple. Now let's see focus on the problem. The problem is given like this year and returns. Six years returns are given. First year 12 percent, 18 percent, minus 6 percent, 20, 20 to 24. This is the percentage given. What we have to do first, average rate of return we have to calculate. We will calculate that. For that, we need the total. Total just now I have calculated. Its total is 90. Means all the plus values add from that. If you deduct minus 6, you are getting 90. So, we will calculate average rate of return first. A bit. Average rate of return. Short form, okay? That is equal to total returns by years. Total returns by number of years. Total returns are how much? 90. 90 divided by how many number of years? 6 years. 90 divided by 6. Mm, 15. 15 is the average return. Okay, this is over. Next standard deviation. Standard deviation also we will write the formula. ARR, we got it. Next standard deviation. Standard deviation is equal to root of sigma d square by n. Same formula we have written. As per the formula, what do we need first? D is required, means taking the deviations taking the deviation then after that once if you get the d then after that we can go for d square d how do you get d is returns minus average returns returns are given here this returns minus average returns are 15 average return is 15 we will take the deviations for first one hope you remembered how to take the deviations deviations is equal to given data minus arithmetic mean from where you are taking the deviations taking from the arithmetic mean so i have written here 15 ar average returns now first one uh, deviations how do you get 
ट्वेल्व माइनस मीन्स रिटर्न माइनस फिफ्टीन ट्वेल्व माइनस फिफ्टीन इट कम्स टू माइनस थ्री एंड एटीन माइनस फिफ्टीन थ्री प्लस थ्री माइनस सिक्स माइनस फिफ्टीन कम्स टू माइनस ट्वेंटी वन देन ट्वेंटी माइनस फिफ्टीन फाइव ट्वेंटी टू माइनस फिफ्टीन सेवन ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस फिफ्टीन नाइन You got deviations. Now, once if you get the deviations, we'll go for this one. This one, three, three is the nine, nine, twenty-one into twenty-one. Where is the calculator? Twenty-one into twenty-one. I don't want to make any mistake. Oh, four forty-one. Next twenty-five, five is the twenty-five, forty-nine, hmm, eighty-one. No total. Nine nine eighteen eighteen plus four forty one plus twenty five plus forty nine plus eighty one. This is six one four. Six one four. This one you got it. Put it in the formula. Root of six one four divided by n. N is six. Number of derivations. Six one four divided by six. You are getting one or two point three three. If you take out the root, many people are asking how to take the root. <laughs> Amount is this? Can you see? Uh, in Calci, you can find root. You write the amount and press root. The root will be removed. If you remove the root, you are getting ten point one 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 six. Means what? Ten point one two. This is uh, standard deviation. You got it. Next variance we want to find out. Variance is equal to variance is equal to standard deviation square. Standard deviation is ten point one two. Ten point one two into ten point one two. Ten point one two into ten point one two. This is one or two point four one. So you got the variance also here. So am I clear? Let me explain the problem. There is nothing to worry. What they are asking is a very clear question. Question is very clear. What you have to calculate the said, calculate the average rate of return. Without average return, we cannot go for standard deviation. Though they are not asking, but you have to calculate for standard deviation. Anyhow, they have given you are separately do, showing it. Average rate of return, standard deviation, and variance. Formulas we know. Average returns means this total ninety divided by six. You got average. Just once, if you get the average returns. Provide one column for d because if you see the formula d square we want. How do you get d square? Once if you know d, d means deviations. Once if you get, then you can go for the deviation d square. So I'm taking one column for the deviations. How do you get deviations? This returns minus average returns. Average returns means nothing but this one. Average arithmetic mean. So this we have calculated twelve minus fifteen minus three like this. You got the deviations and then d square we have done square of this. In total you got six one four. Applied in the formula you got standard deviation. Variance third one. Variance is equal to formula is uh, standard deviation square. Where I have written I have written somewhere I think I here. So the same, same formula. Standard deviation square means it means we already got standard deviation one hundred ten point one two into ten point one two you got one or two point four one so problem is over clear one problem for homework so this is the problem let me read the following are the annual returns of a company over past five years determine average returns and standard deviation only two things they are asking average returns and standard deviation. The problem is given like this. First, you calculate the average returns. Average returns means total divided by number of years are five. You get the average returns. Then after that, 
provide two more columns same like this deviations means d and d square both once if you do it write the formula standard deviation is root of sigma d square by n what's the formula don't look at the board tell me standard deviation is equal to root of sigma d square by n apply it will get the answer so at the end uh, standard deviation you got 10.12 risk how much is the risk means risk is at 10.12 percent this is what conclusion am i clear about this standard deviation okay now standard deviation is over next we will go for coefficient of variation and three more topics are there this also will cover quite easy na check out the playlist and also don't forget to share this videos stay connected good luck